if you want to make a plan, what you want to do is that you need to think about what you're good at and or where is your target. So you want to think about uh, whether you're going to do a blog, a podcast, in your communication plan, whether you're going to write on the social networks, whether you're going to have your own blog, um, website. Um, you need as well to think not on always uh, about uh, online branding, but also offline branding, whether you want to be a part of an association, maybe you want to create an association about your uh, passions, maybe you want to talk at different uh, public events, uh, you want to write uh, white books, all those are the customers, um, different items that you can write down on your plan, then you want to prioritize your plan. Which one are you going to start with first? Uh, here again, depending on your objectives. There are some great online tools that can help you out to gather all this and to figure it out. To uh, be able to uh, manage your brand online, you can use some tools such as uh, Scoopy that helps you gather uh, all the information, also Salimap that can help you to do some curation and to send it out on your social networks. There is Hootsuite as well, that is very great for your social networks. There is Trello, which is a great um, management tool. But you have lots of tools uh, that can help you out. Actually, there is a single one every day, I think. The most important you need to understand is that when you do your uh, marketing plan, you use a Gantt uh, chart, for example, or an Excel sheet, here again, it can help you out to um, gather, to organize uh, your brand and the way you're going to uh, broadcast it uh, or send it on the online. When you Google yourself, uh, you're going to see what appears first. Probably it's going to be your LinkedIn profile. Make sure you have a LinkedIn profile if you haven't done it yet. So you're going to see that LinkedIn is going to be the, probably the first one, unless you're a very famous YouTuber and you have your, your own blog that you um, do a lot of work on SEO on it. So LinkedIn will be my first recommendation. Uh, Twitter as well because it's very public and very highly uh, used. Here again it depends on your target. Maybe if you want to work in the uh, tourism industry, maybe you want to uh, have an account on TripAdvisor so that we can, when you Google you, we can see the kind of comments that you do and that you are interested in tourism. If you want to work in retail, there is some um, uh, some websites such as a my shop for example where you can leave comments as well about retail industry so that it will tell uh, your employees that you know about what you're talking about and where to reach them and obviously Facebook is uh, best uh, is a great tool as well some people think that wouldn't go on Facebook but you have to bear in mind that on all international level Facebook is the social network the most used even by your employ future employer so you need to think globally in terms of strategy.